Hello, my dear sensitive person and pathologized sensitive person. Welcome to another video reading, daily angel message video reading here. We have a guidance reading today. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to be pulling out uh, cards from two different decks here from the angel answers and guardian angel. So we're calling in the angels here to be present with us at this moment in this reading to give us the right guidance that we need today. So as usual, this reading is a general reading for, for those of you and past and highly sensitive people who have been emotionally abused by a narcissist and you're looking for guidance, you're looking for support and understanding and you want to be manifesting your dream life again and by the way thanks for following me and my work as usual if you're watching this from youtube uh go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet and give me your like <laughs> hit the like button if you like this video and give me your comments or questions if any come up i would appreciate good energy i will happily reply to you back when I can and as always you can book your own private reading with me that's always possible I'm very active on Instagram so you find the link below and you can get in touch me touch in touch with me DM me or just book a reading uh, via my bio link you also see all the info uh, below this video if you're watching this from YouTube I also share this video on Instagram. So let's just see here. I pulled out six cards just intuitively. Let's see what we have. Okay, wow, we have romance. We have let go. We are within the next few weeks. Very positive. We have 10 of thoughts. Okay. Embrace those around you. Um, ace of action okay wonderful opportunities coming right so we have a positive reading I don't see any warnings here so as usual this goes out to you guys with love um, you will have or you have already romance in your life if you're looking for love right now, then love is coming into your life. Or it already is in your life. So just take what resonates and leave out the rest as usual. But definitely a positive sign of love, of romance. I feel that you have likely been looking and waiting for romance, for love to come into your life. You want to be loved. You want to be accepted, you know, you want somebody to hold you and to be there for you. And definitely you have been manifesting love and romance. And that is what you're getting. You have a place, you have placed the right order, order into the universe. Uh, but what you have to do now is let go of all of your excess worries and fears and anxieties and just focus on positive energy. I feel that you want to create a new life. Naturally, uh, especially if you have been emotionally abused. Um, even that it happened uh, a while ago or a long time ago, it doesn't matter. You are on your healing path. You want to be having new love, true love. You want to be letting go. And the angels want to remind you with this reading that you are safe but you have to be more willing to open up <clears throat> to the good things you know so don't block away the good things let go of your worries let go of negative energy within the next few weeks something amazing is going to happen 
I feel that this will be a surprise. Oh, <laughs> it just flew there. It will be a nice surprise. This could relate to this romance, so possibly you will connect with this new partner within the next few weeks, if you haven't already. And then we have, from the Guardian Angel deck, we have ten, ten of Thought, a situation that's been troubling you has come to an end and you can breathe with a sigh of relief. With the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now be finally free of his or her addictions or codependency issues. Okay, so this can mean that you have been codependent or, you know, the narcissist was codependent. So there is a lot of healing energy present as this card comes up. Uh, a terrible situation has come to an end. This can also mean that you have just moved on, moved on from the narcissist and you are now creating your new life. Your worst challenges are definitely over and you can move on. And now it is completely important to let go. Like we have here, let go, let go. Okay, so the angels really see you struggling with this. They want to see you trust and surrender to the universe, surrender to love, surrender to miracles, to surrender to blessings, surrender to being your, your authentic, amazing you. And you want to be taking care of others. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. So definitely a spiritual growth time in your life. You want to be taking care of others. You want to be letting others take care of you. Uh, you know, accept help and support from others. Don't struggle alone. Mm. And, you know, you're looking for solutions and you're finding them as you're moving along. You want to have some new ideas, inspirations. Maybe you want to move out to another town or something like that or whatever calls to you. Um... And then we have Ace of Action. So uh, this cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity, your career, or pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action. And if you've been procrastinating, it's time to get really busy. Uh, it's also a great time to start a new business. Have confidence in your abilities. So we have a lot of action energy here as well. Moving forward, action, possible new work, business, ideas, inspirations come true. So you need to be taking action, definitely. You know, nothing happens without action. So pursue your dreams, be creative, get in touch with your intuition and act on it. So we have a very, very positive message here. Beautiful image of this little angel here. So don't hesitate to get busy if something calls to you that you want to do. Maybe, I don't know, write a book, um, you know, whatever comes to your mind, what your intuition tells you to do. Just do it. So thank you so much for being here again, watching my video, sending you so much love and light as usual. And let's get in touch. Namaste.